I'm so sexy. <laughs> That wasn't that long. I thought it would be long, like to boil them, to fry them. I was like, oh. You know, it's a scare tactics. So since it was in Muskoka, and it was in Muskoka. <laughs> Ooh, look Whoops. at this. Pierogi. Cindy was in Muskoka. Yeah, she was in Muskoka. She gets a call from her friend. Okay, you already missed most of the story. <laughs> You already missed so many details. I thought it was right on point. No. It was Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. A blistery Tuesday. Oh, it looks good, like, oh. Oh, it looks so good. It looks good, like the body of Jake Chen. Huh. Really? It was a blistery Tuesday. Thanks, Jackie. Welcome. It. Thanks for the soup earlier. No worries. Probably why I feel so much better. Yeah? Oh, what all to you. Yeah. <laughs> it was a blistery Tuesday. Yeah, it was a blistery Tuesday in the Muskokas. And Cindy's friend calls her. She called her. Like, hey, Cindy, I got 300 bucks up? for you. Oh, sorry. What's I got that? a job for you if that you want. Your fork? If you're it interested. was a little bit of sour cream. Ketchup's not bad with Karen, it's the best part! Oh. She doesn't like pierogi. <laughs> Ow. Who doesn't like pierogi? That's a lie. She said that. There's two types of people in this world. People are, that like pierogies, and then people that are lying about you that they don't like pierogies. Yeah. They don't like lying. Huh? Mm, no lie. Mmm. Oh. Sour cream and must on pierogies? It's mm -hmm. a, yeah. I like it with ketchup too. I like it with ketchup too. So that's why I do sour, a little sour cream on parts and then ketchup on the other. Pierogies is like Polish food. Mm -hmm. Polish, yeah. So Cindy's in the Muskokas. God, no. <laughs> she gets an alarming phone call. She doesn't, she's, her cell service isn't so bad, it isn't so good up there, so she doesn't have call waiting, or call display. She said, I got 300 bucks for you. It's easy day's work. Oh, is this the scare tactic story? <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's with a story here, Will. A story for me? Yeah, a story. Oh, I don't... Could I, be about a movie, could be about your life. Bring it. Really? Ready? Go. I don't have any story, no, guys. I'm always saying that I'm not good in stories. <laughs> I don't care if you're good or not, we just want to hear a story. Well, what I, <clears throat> what I can say. <clears throat> My life is boring, I think. You know, uh, movies, uh, movies that you know that I could tell. No. What movies do you know that you could tell? I don't know, I'm really that. No. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie, it would be... Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> I really love Brokeback Mountain, though. Did Have you ever seen it? No. I can tell the story. You know the whole thing? I think so. Hit me with Brokeback Mountain. Okay. 
Yeah, have you ever seen Brubeck Mountain, Jackie? It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. mm, it sounds. It sounds so good. It's a love thing. story, right? Yeah. Well, we're coming. I hate doing storage and that. Oh, here we go. You didn't even start yet. <laughs> Kevin, he's telling a story. Uh, Road back one time. Oh, I want yes, to one too. Okay. Have you ever seen Brownback Mountain Cab? No. Okay. Gay Cowboys? Yeah. yeah Thanks. Tell us. So, Brownback Mountain, it's a movie during. The, <laughs> it's so bad. I really feel that. Oh, let's do your best. During the 60s. I think it's during the 50s. It's like in the 50s. Oh, okay. And it's two cowboys who um, need to work and they are all living in the US and they need to work. So, they go for a job. For a job in a place called Brokeback Mountain. Do they know each other? No, it's like the two boys who came for a job. It's like, I think it's all summer long. I'm not sure. I think it's all summer long. And so they need to keep the, the sheep together. So they are together and they all summer long, they have to, I think, to bring the sheep somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, they like ride the horses and they just like yeah. have to like transfer them from exactly. like one place to another. Exactly. Like over mountains. Okay. So they're ranchers. So ranchers. They're ranchers. They're ranchers. Mm -hmm. So, so they are always together. And I think at some point they start to like kind of find, fell in love with each other. And then like they, one day I think they like feel really lonely and they make love and yeah. Sex? Sex, mm -hmm. yeah. And the, yeah, exactly. So they all, they are always together, so they, they fell in love and Isn't it like yeah. the one guy? <laughs> I think the that's one it? guy knows no, that he's gay. And the one guy, like the one guy yeah, knows that he's gay. Yeah, that's true. Jake didn't I think he knows in, in himself yeah. that he's gay. He knows that he's gay, but the other one is kind of like, Second guessing, like being mm. like, well, I have feelings for this guy, but that's who's where Drew, right? Yeah. Yeah, and he's like, he doesn't, he doesn't know that. It's like, and it's the 50s, 60s, this so it's really, really it's not hard, a good yeah. thing to be it's in the yeah. US mm -hmm. or in the world. And when the summer is, is done, mm, they all go in their in their life. One I think is living in Wyoming, the other one Texas, mm -hmm. Texas, and. Um, I think they don't see themselves like for four years. Oh like, wow! Yeah, and they make their life. One of the guys met a wife. They have kids, and the other one too met like I think he met a wife, have kids. Well, like a woman? Yeah, with woman, oh. like with woman. Yeah. And at one point, what happened? Why did they, they like because they're gonna meet each other again? I think one received like. The one, like, not Jake Gyllenhaal, the, the other guy, he received a letter from Jake Gyllenhaal that he wanted to see them each other. They wanted mm -hmm. to go, like, to... to fishing. 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 Yes. A fishing yeah. trip. To Bro Back Mountain. Oh. Have you ever seen Bro Back Mountain? Yes. I, okay. So they go... So, yeah, so they see each other, and, like, it's like if they were seeing them each other, like, yesterday, like, they love each other, so... Yeah. Yeah. It was just like, it, was it so wasn't bad. accepted at the time. Yeah, exactly. How long, uh, how long after the first? Like, I think it's like four years. They didn't see the, each other for four years. So, so yeah. So they see each other like in the really like in love, in love, in love, in love. Like they are not going, they don't fish at all. I think they go to the hotel and But whatever. I think like, isn't like at the beginning, is there a scene where he punches Jake Gyllenhaal in the face? Or am I just imagining that? I don't remember. I feel like the one guy didn't know that he was gay, but Jake Jadalyn Hall kept like kind of like mm. getting those emotions out of him, and then he oh. like was kind of like scared with himself because like he felt don't it, come but like on he to didn't. Me type thing? He was like, no, yeah. no, no, I'm not, I'm not gay, but like he like Jake Jadalyn yeah. knew he was gay, and he just kind of got scared and like. Punched him. 
Probably, yeah. I, th I, I think, think that's what happened, and then, Did yeah. When they I are in Brotag Mountain? Yeah, I think so. Because when, when they see each other back, like, they, like, kiss, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's been this a, is like four before. years since, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he just, like, helps him realize that he is gay. Yeah. But he just, he, like, is he's so much, what they're probably, like, in their, like, mid to late 20s. Well, mid -30s. The second time? Mid 30s, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, like, they do that for many years, like, they go see each other in Broadback Mountain, like, once a year now, maybe yeah. twice a year. And um, so the love story continued like that. And the wife of Jake Gyllenhaal, at, at a way, she's like, she, no, no, the other wife, she's like, what is that? Because, like, once they come back from fishing, and, like, the, I think the price tag is still on the, 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 the thing. Yeah. So I think, like, Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. She like realizes that he's not actually yeah, going so, yeah. fishing. This goes like for many many years, mm. and Karen's uh, <laughs> looking at me like I'm the worst storyteller ever. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh -oh. Yeah, you're pretty bad, but I know. <laughs> still good. <laughs> tell it, tell it, Jack. I'm so I, bad. I have been watched in a long time, which is why, like, whenever no, you say yeah, something, I, I kind of like pick something up. I'm so bad. No, it's good. No, it's good. No, it's bad. Keep going. So yeah, so they do the love story like continue like Jake did not want to live with him like because he's in love. No, is it him? Because one of like the block like not Jake Jelly no now is like divorced. And he's really unhappy because I like I think he's in, well he's in love with Jake Gyllenhaal, but like, he can't be in love with him because it's a guy. And uh, what happened after? I can't remember. But this continued like for a long, a long time. And at one point, like it, I think one Jake didn't do you want the end of the story. I'm yeah. gonna suggest no, 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 give details, end. details. But I'm not good. I don't remember the movie enough, and I'm <laughs> sweating because I'm bad. <laughs> Ketchup or sriracha ketchup? Okay. But like the movie, like the, I don't remember, but like, this continued for a long time. They met people, they make, and whatever. Again? Huh? After, after their little I think like the, the other guys, like they met another girl. <laughs> and uh, it never really works because he's, he's in love with Jake Gyllenhaal, and Jake Gyllenhaal is also in love with him. And at the end, like Jake Gyllenhaal has been killed. And the they kill him? <laughs> yeah, because he's gay. No. And wow, they actually kill him because he's gay. Yeah. It's sad. Really? And the other guy stay alone forever. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, it's a sad ending. It's yeah, a very it's sad, sad ending. Like, it's a crying yeah, that movie. That was the cry. They kill him because he's gay. Yeah. Who? Jake Gyllenhaal. No, who? Oh, random people. They hang him or shoot uh, him? No, I think they... Knife. No, with brick, I think. With rocks. Oh, stone him. Yeah. Yeah, it's Because he was doing stuff with geez. guys, like, friends, like. Uh, that's days. terrible. Yeah. Well, what movie were we talking about? The, the Imitation Game with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, so good. They, uh. That was the best. Bit he was worst. gay. Sorry, yes. And he had to hide it. He had to hide it. And they gave him and hormones to, to fix him. Then he got. And then he got so crazy he committed suicide. Yeah. Who? The imitation game. Oh. That's terrible. That was sad. That was based on a true story. That was sad. That was only the 50s or less, like 60 years ago. Yeah. That's crazy. I can hear you getting food. Yeah. Uh. You're getting food. Mm. That's right. Don't eat all the pudding, will you? Is it five yet? Mm -hmm. One of me and fr Will's favorite things on Fridays is to go check the food and, and sit in there and eat. Mm -hmm. I will just be watching today. But that was yeah. our favorite thing. We have a little of this, a little of that. A little bit of this, Don't a little bit we? we sit in the pantry and laugh and eat, and then we square dance in between. <laughs> <laughs> And he said, oh, it's Friday. You don't get to, you won't want to watch the food delivery. I go, oh, I still will. Mm. I wouldn't miss the Friday I food delivery. So. It's one of my highlights in the mm -hmm. house. It's so exciting to get. It is so 
I've, in all my years, I never had anybody bring me groceries. Mm -hmm. I'm always the grocery bringer. I love grocery shopping. That's kind of fun. Really? Yeah. It's kind of boring, I think. I like grocery shopping and I like doing laundry. Really? I like folding laundry. Really? Yeah. Oh. I don't like pierogies, but today I would. Mm -hmm. You're lying. That's, that's when you're on slop the entire time. Things that you would never even think of eating. I don't like good. pierogies. I would make pierogies all the time for the kids and Bruce, and I'd eat something different. But today, I like, I'd eat those pierogies. Pierogies are so good. Especially with the sour cream mm. and sriracha. I've never seen anybody eat them with ketchup. In so my just, life. They just kill him at the end, eh? Yeah. Because I think he was doing stuff like with guys. Yeah, caught. Okay, was he was in love with the you, the guys he didn't want to meet anyone else. He was just doing sex. Yeah. With guys in, in place hidden. So like in this, I think it was seventies now. So they. they even I was gonna say, you guys, even in the eighties, they had to hide it. Yeah. Even in the eighties. Even they, yeah, no. They were hiding it. So, yeah, you kill him. Yeah. It's wild. Mm. I, thought it was a, I thought it was a happier ending no, than that. No, no, no. Nope. It's so sad. That's why I'm always depressed for a day after that. I know. It's a, I haven't seen it in a while that. I mean, there's a while so where I watched I, it like. I was very so often, surprised but. that that was the story. It was like, wow. It was sad. He finished, like, because he kept, like, a shirt off from JJ and all. He finished that he looked at the shirt. And he's living, like, in a caravan by himself and he's really unhappy. You see that he's really unhappy. Yeah, it's really sad. Yeah. Mm. He never said that he's gay. Yeah. No, couldn't. He never said it? Mm -mm. His wife who divorced knows it, but she, yeah, she doesn't say it. They he don't accept divorced. it. Yeah, they yeah. don't. Yeah. It's not like I talk about it, accept yeah. it, it was okay. It's a crazy story. And she she was really in love with him, so she felt really betrayed and he was cheating so on her. It's terrible. I mean, look how long it took Bruce Jenner to come out because he was afraid, and then when he came out, then it was like, everybody was like, yeah, live your truth. And like ESPN He gets a lot of hate, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? She gets a lot of hate. Which uh, one? Caitlyn Jenner. Oh. Is that? Yeah, that's normal. But I'm just saying, like, that is those people. But I was actually thought it would be all where people weren't accepting of it. But I knew that it had turned when I asked my dad what he thought of it. Yeah. And he said, Okay. Is what that, difference does it make? Is that his name now? Yes. Caitlin Jenner. Caitlin Jenner. Huh? And it was like, yeah, Caitlin. Um, what difference does it make? If that's what makes you know him or her happy, then that's what they should do. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, things have changed. But that was the first time I realized that mainstream would be like, what difference does it make? Yeah. It's their life. And mm -hmm. I was like so glad. So you're saying even before... He was like cross. He used to cross dress all the time, and he, she, he, right. So she now said that when she was still living as he, that since teenage had cross dressed mm -hmm. and he had to hide it, and then the Olympics came and all of that, and then knew it had gone to start hormone therapy then mm -hmm. and then stopped and just not been able to you know it was like she didn't say it was like disappointment or ego but it seemed like from the her telling her own story it was like she was this huge iconic american athlete yeah. and it would disappoint everybody like us who grew up with it and so it just got hidden and hidden and stuffed and stuffed and then you know 
fast forward, was married. The first wife knew, knew that he was cross-dressing at that time, married, divorced him, Chris, couple times and like the girls had known that one of the daughters came home and he had on her clothes mm -hmm. and there was just a little bit of that signs where it's kind of like when you watch the show did you not watch the reality show it was no. kind of, and so there was a lot of transgender people on there and they all told their different stories gotcha. and it's like it's kind of like you want to get caught because then you're out. Mm -hmm. Mm. And then you can do that. So, like, people start, like, knowing this is, like, maybe a hobby or a fetish or whatever, and, like, they don't make a huge deal out of it. And things are working, but it wasn't working for the person that was doing it. It w looked like it was under control, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. And finally, it was like the show had taken off so much and become so big, and he, he was still he at that time, just so unhappy, incredibly unhappy, and separated and went to Malibu mm. and got a different house. And I think we had gotten stuff in the tabloids and really started exploring that side of it and was so happy and so comfortable that finally just said, I have to do this. Mm -hmm. And then, if you remember, the day that, by that time, the transition was going on, so it, it wasn't public to us, but she had went and got her boobs done. Mm -hmm. And she got in that accident because the paparazzi was chasing her and killed that woman. Do you remember that accident? No. Oh. How was that not more news? It was huge news. I didn't hear about yeah. that. So what happened was, is the paparazzi, she was leaving the clinic mm -hmm. that she had had and maybe doing a recheck or something, because it wasn't like that initial day, but it yeah. was like maybe a recheck or something like that. Caitlin Jenner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know the 100% exact details, but it had come from that doctor, and the paparazzi was on to it. And there was all the speculations, and they were pretty much doing their normal witch hunts at that mm -hmm. time. You know how they did to Princess Diana? And she was driving her Escalade on, like, the 101. And a guy with a truck and trailer in front of her stopped quickly because, you know, whatever, the traffic. She swerved into head-on traffic and hit the, another oh car God. and killed the woman. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I did hear that. What? And so what happened was, and is not, that was the first photos because she's on the highway and she's dressed like I am right now, yeah. but had her hair slicked back into a ponytail. Mm. And so Ugh. you could physically tell, you know, that it would be like... And she imagine, didn't go to court? Or? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, there's probably big, there was big lawsuit and stuff. But it was an accident, like it, you know what I mean. The guy, it was a totally. But yeah, it sounds like it vehicular was like manslaughter. Distracted driving, mm -hmm. because That's but it was trying to get away from the paparazzi. I blame the paparazzi a lot for those things. Like seriously, you're being chased like a, you know, like a crazy person. They they chase you, hunt you down. Yeah, but then you kill somebody. But it was and an you accident. It was just like if me and you, you're driving down the highway, somebody slams on their brakes, you know, they're, you can't go this way, you go this way. And Into oncoming traffic. <laughs> but I mean, you don't know that another car's going to be right there. Like, you don't know what you'd be do in that instant, right? It was a total, I believe it was a total accident. Nobody intentionally. Well, obviously she didn't mean to right. kill the girl, but. So that was the first signs to us as the public, like, they were hiding it pretty good on the show. Mm -hmm. We knew that he, because he was still a he, we thought, had moved out to Malibu. They were separated. The show went on. But that was the first clue that really stuff started to surface. But, I mean, it's like, why? Like, yeah. who you know, cares? Live your truth. Yeah. Whatever, Whatever it makes is, you happy. who cares? People are gonna hate you or not like you anyway. Like why? So he then his mother knew, 
And it was the same thing. He said he didn't at that time want to disappoint the American public. You know, he was this one of the best athletes we've ever seen in the world. In what? Track and Track. field. It was when, went to the Olympics. Right? Didn't he get like third or something? I mean, he, or oh no, gold. he got gold medal. Oh, gold, yeah, right? That's it. He was huge. In what though? I think it was decathlon. It was the, uh, what's that jumping thing and long jump and... So yeah, decathlon's like 10 events put in one Right, event. it's big. Yeah, it's just kind of... Oh, yeah. he, was, he was one of the best athletes in the world in that time. And so, then after the show came out, I think there was only one season, ESPN was the first one to embrace and give her by that time the award. Now that's when it really all started. The ESPYs award. Breaking yeah. mainstream. Because there was, when she won the award, it People cut to were, Peyton Manning, the Denver Broncos quarterback, and he just kind of stood there. He wasn't he wasn't clapping. No. Do you remember that was big news? It was. The it was whole like Caitlyn thing. Jenner, like, and everyone's standing in applause, and, and Peyton's just standing there like this, like, like stone faced, like he didn't approve. Like, and that, that was big there news. There was a lot of that, though. And it was like all of a sudden. <laughs> what did she win an award for? Like their man of the year, woman or of the like year, athlete of the year, something athlete. Statement of the year. I don't, I don't even know exactly big. what the award was. It was just recognition for like the process that she went through. Yeah. And to be like an athlete. Yes. You know, like it's an athletic thing that they give you for like, you know, maybe like in a high achievement for like a Hall of Fame or something. Yeah. You know, when you get to be at a certain level, like you never got recognized and then you have all this career down the way and then you get. That was big. I remember that. And so there was a lot of people like what? And it was like being a person, like a mainstream person. I was like kind of shocked. You know, but again, like, what business is it of mine? Mm. Like, really? If so you said that your dad saying that to you showed that. That showed to me that the tides had really changed on people. What? Hey, bud, your life, your life, your life. Who am I? Like, we all sit around and talk about stuff and judge or whatever, but it's like at the end of the day, just do what you want, because people are going to judge regardless. They know you're mm. don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And so then the show came out, and wow, I didn't know like one tenth about transgender that I learned. And what's the show called again? It was called, was it um, <coughs> like Just Kate? No. Yeah, Just Kate. Was that it? Something like that. I never seen the show. Because you know that uh, there was a transgender house guest on Big Brother yes. in the States. Yes. Uh, Audrey. Audrey. Oh, she was a hot mess. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. She was a hot mess. She was a hot mess. Was she? Oh. She was crying she in the nominated. DR. She. Hiding she, in the DR. There was one. I forget what happened, but she was going to be the replacement nominee. <laughs> she stayed in her room for three days. And she didn't attend the ceremony. She oh, didn't yeah. come to the ceremony. To and so the, the HOH is like. I, Audrey is a replacement nominee, and then so it's just, there's the an empty mask. chair. Like it was just. It was, she was How just, do you not come? She was. She didn't come to the ceremony. That's mm -hmm. hilarious. Like I would have watched it, but I'm like, I remember them showing her crying. She was hiding in the DR, I think. How do you not like get oh. told you have to go sit on the block? Yeah, I don't know. She didn't last very long, though, did she? Was she was gorgeous. Oh yeah. Oh. She didn't last long, though, did she? No, pre-jury, I think. Oh, yeah, pre-jury. Pre-jury. She was the hottest of all messes. So from playing before Kevin Martin, mm. in your big brother world of what you know, pre-jury and getting to jury, that is your goal. Like, you're... Yeah. Or no. Is it make a difference? It's like a step in your head, right? It's like mm. first out... Don't be first out, jury. Yeah, you know, everyone has different goals and little okay. steps. Okay, so it's not like some standard. Because like you guys seem to people, people that have played remember. I don't even remember. I remember some names and I don't know if they were pre-jury or jury or whatever. Do I'm people, like, oh, I like that. Yeah, that's what my question inter interluding. Mm -hmm. do, do people respect people making? No. 
No. There's people who make it to fifth place or fourth place, and people don't think they played a good game. And there's yeah. people who are pre-jury that they think they did play good. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because I thought... It's just a lot of, like, people have ego over it in the Big Brother okay. alumni community. Okay. Like, I got to set. Like, who cares, you know? Yeah. There's people that win, and then there's people yeah, that don't. I'm trying to exactly. There's you a lot more people. Best and go as far as possible. There's a lot more people who don't win. You can play a great game and be first out. You can play a bad game and get second place. You know. Yeah. It's all the time. Yep. Cause I looked at like uh, from your season, like Neha. Yeah. I thought great. she would have been. Could have fired it up. Totally. What's, but, uh, you have to tell us the story of unlucky. what happened with Princess Diana. I don't know what happened with Princess Diana. Oh, terrible. Oh, so so terrible sad. story. So sad. What year was this? 96? Shane was eight months down. old, so that would have been August 31st, 1997. 1997. She died. So her and, uh, what was his name? Fahid? The really wealthy guy from Dubai were boyfriend and girlfriend. They had been dating for quite a while, and she was on a trip with him in Paris. And wherever she was in the world, like, she got hunted. Like, she was big news. Always. Americans absolutely loved Princess Di. Like, love, 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 love. So she's the daughter to Queen Elizabeth? Nope. She was the daughter-in-law. She was Charles's wife. They got married when I was 16. And it was, like, a huge wedding. Like, Fairy tale, yeah. beautiful. Do I remember Kate Middleton's and Prince? Yes. What was his name? The royal wedding. Prince yeah. Charles. William. Prince Charles. Oh, Prince William. Prince William. Yeah. I remember there. That was big news. That was only a couple years Huge. ago. Huge. And uh, we, Bruce and I just saw her. I videoed her. She like literally waved right at me in Victoria. They were in the procession. Mm -hmm. I have a tape of it, but I got so excited when she looked right at me and waved that I moved <laughs> the camera like this. And I when couldn't you, you believe she was like 10 feet away in a car from me. I She's think so much more. You're a paparazzi, Karen. Well, no kidding, it's her fault. What if they had a crash, We Karen? weren't chasing them. We were just what if they on had the, a We knew they were going to the governor general's mansion. That's where they were staying. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, you, so, so I, your research where they were staying as well. Of course. It was huge news in Victoria. I said, do you want to, it was like 10 minutes before I said to Bruce, do you want to go over to governor general's and just see? And he goes, you know we're not going to get anywhere near. It. We literally pulled up, parked, got out. There was like, at that time, maybe 50 other people waiting for their procession to come. I couldn't believe it because mm. there was a huge 100,000 seemed people down at the parliament building where they yeah. did their speech, but we were at the residence. There was the, only 50 people. And literally, you I got the... You and 49 the, other paparazzi. I've got the whole procession. So 50, everybody was 50 very, stalkers. Everybody was really respectful, <laughs> and they were super, like, she was, like, the nicest can be. Looked straight at oh, me. She's so much more stunning in person. Like, yeah. if you could imagine... I mean, she, she went mm -hmm. in Quebec and people mm -hmm. booed her. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh, why? The people in Quebec don't like royalty. We don't like a lot of things. <laughs> oh, she's so beautiful and yeah. nice. So, um, okay, so they got married. And then fast forward. Uh, he was in love with uh, his wife now which is his n wife that's been his wife for like 15 years, that older woman. I can't remember her name. I don't like her. I don't remember her name, but that old woman. He was having an affair with her. She's like 15 years older than him. Okay. And Diana ended up having like an affair too, but like after the fact. But everybody loved Diana. And their marriage was like a rue, she said from the beginning, like in interviews and stuff. And she was a very sweet... Very kind, good-hearted woman is what I, my take on it was. Oh, damn. damn fool. And she said he was cold and he was the loof and this Thanks, and that. Dylan. And, it, you know, everybody in a marriage Thanks, has Stephen. their story. So anyway, they got divorced. Mm -hmm. And then she's with Fahid. Have you seen the movie that they make with um, uh, Naomi Watts? No. No? It's after she broke up with Prince Charles. Oh, no, I haven't. Have, well, Do you want? I like it. Oh, okay, then we'll have to look at the food. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so 
they were on a trip to Paris and they were staying at, you know, whatever, some fancy hotel, just a big chain hotel, you know, they would have had the nicest suite. And everywhere they went, they were being chased because she was huge news. And his dad owns Harrods Department Store. Okay. And he's like, pretty much like Dubai royalty, I think, or something like, I'm not even sure if he's from Dubai, but anyway, mm -hmm. his family owns Harrods from London. They were in Paris, huge money, huge wealth. She was Princess Diana, like. So every was, show, everywhere she went, she was oh my celebrity. god, just absolute hunted, yeah. chased because a picture of her, a good picture, was going to be on the front of any of those tabloids. Yeah. At that time, remember the ta paper tabloids were still big. So they go, they're leaving at like, I don't know, it was probably midnight, and yeah. they had had dinner, and they were in a, like a really super nice Rolls Royce. Yeah. Limousine. Is it a limo? Rolls limo? I'm not sure. Driver? Mm -hmm. Driver. Bodyguard? Fahid behind the driver, her behind the bodyguard. Gotcha. The four of them. The four of them. They are literally being chased through the streets of Paris. Whoever, the bodyguard is the only one that survived the crash. His story is when he was, he's only done like one or two interviews and then he did write a book. I never read the book. He said that it was like, Fahid said, like enough, lose them. There is, have you ever been to Paris? Never. Okay. There's like this underground like tunnel okay. that you, you go into on both sides. So you're in a normal street and then you come in and there's an underground tunnel. Yes. Both sides of traffic, but concrete in the middle. They're trying to lose them. They're being chased. There's a moped and like other vehicles and just a whole procession and they're weaving in and out like this and just the cars weaving in and out and it's just like the chase is on. Yeah. but like at excessive speeds. They crash in the tunnel. Into another car. Into, Into the, the concrete cement barrier. barriers. Oh the car literally was like this. So the bodyguard survived. The bodyguard survived and was in rehabilitation for like what? He was in the hospital for like three months yeah. before he could like talk. Oh, he's lucky he survived. The driver died, Fahid died, she died. When the paramedics, got, and when she was dying, Kevin. She was still alive. They were still trying to get pictures of oh. her. They were standing over top of her body taking pictures of her. That's and not helping. Sick people. Okay, this did not help. They, that, the paparazzi actually got charged. Really? For doing that. That was the oh, first so. case. So in, after a car crash, she was just in dying. She's, She's like, literally yeah. crumpled up, mangled in this vehicle, and they're still trying to get pictures as she was taking like her last breath, yeah. dying. That's tragic. <sighs> it was crushing. We, it was like 11 o'clock at night. It was August 31st, 1997. I'll never forget that. Shane was eight months old. We were in, Bruce and I were downstairs watching TV. All of a sudden, we're watching, like, you know, like, I don't know, say, a movie, Law and Order, some drama or something. It comes breaking news. It cuts. Cuts in and says, Princess Diana has been killed in a car crash in Paris, France. And we were like, what? It was like you lost a relative. Seriously? Like, we loved her that much. Yeah, yeah I remember my, mo my mom we were was saying I that. started bawling. Yeah. Like, we were crushed. Wow. I mean, you could not have loved like a person that you didn't know like that. She was that. so sweet. She was such a good person. Yep. Like she literally was the this first person. This was in 1997. 1997. She, was, like, she was the first person, Kevin, ever in our lives that we saw that ever went to like starving Africa yeah, that's what with I was like communicable diseases, AIDS patients, and would like hold their hands, would hold the babies where everybody right. else would be like, Please. no, Please. and they'd be like. Princess, she, you can't yeah. do that. Like you could, she goes, I don't care. She literally would go to the people that were like injured like in the Teresa. minefields. She was like a Mother Teresa. Minefields that had limbs tore off and just like go to the most desolate mm -hmm. places. So she was just a sweetheart all over the world. Really good. Oh, and she has two good kids. Good for the world. 
good and for the taken world. at way too young age. Way she was like 36. Young. I don't even think she was that old, was she? No, maybe not. Is there a movie on this or a documentary? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, she might, age, been, she might have been 36. She was that your age? No, God, no. Because, like, when she got she married in no, 80... she was young. She, she was got young. married in 1980, 79 or 80 to him, and she was only probably, like, 19, 20. Mm. So maybe she was 36 when she died. She wasn't that old. She died and way Elton too young. John wrote that Yellow Rose song about her. Oh, really? Yeah, they were good friends. That's tragic. It was so tragic. And again, it was paparazzi. <laughs> yeah. So even the thing with Caitlyn Jenner, I honestly... Yeah, of course. I blame the paparazzi. No. I think you're chasing these people, and people make... Fatal errors. Is there laws against? The, are there paparazzi there are laws? laws? Now, now there is. There's there a lot. are laws, but there weren't then. Yeah. I remember a video of. I think it was Shia LaBeouf. Oh. It was a bit of a nutcase himself. I love him though. There was what insane. a talent. He's insane. What a talent. What video are you talking about? Where his car is just surrounded by people. He can't drive. He can't like get out of the crowds, and I he's like just like rolls down his window. He's like, get out of the way, and they're. Just cameras everywhere, it's insane. Oh my. What's the uh That's how they're stalked. What's the beauty mayor of TO that you guys always talked about? Tom Rob Ford. Ford. Rob Tom Ford. Oh yeah, oh, we Rob love Ford. Rob. Tom Ford is a designer. Rob, Rob Ford. Yeah, he was the mayor. So he just passed away. Yeah. What about a year ago? Yeah. Cancer? Yeah. Because he was he, he he was making international news like he was a man. I went to Florida and Florida. two different years apart. I went to California to one in Florida. And when I told people I was from Canada, they're like, "Oh, I know your mayor, Robbie." I'm like, "Okay, well, I live on like L.A. to New York. He's not exactly my mayor. Like Canada's like the U.S. They have different mayors, but they couldn't get over it." <laughs> and I was just laughing because I'm like, "I used to think like you did." Yeah. Oh, he was a star. He was going on like Jimmy Kimmel oh, totally. and talk Kimmel shows. Kimmel loved him. Was up for it. Yeah, he Kimmel was up loved for him. Jimmy Kimmel was almost Kimmel. bad for him, though. Oh, he went on all those shows. He oh, was just, totally. How did he get so famous? Just a Toronto mayor. Smoking rocks. Oh, Rob Ford. Oh, oh. Remember, he was in the fast food restaurant and talking, and then he was smoking crack in the hotel. Yeah. Oh, he's just nuts. Oh, he was totally off the chain. But you know what, Kevin? Honestly, for politicians, like, uh -huh. he did care about the best interest of the people. One of the biggest drunks ever was Ralph Klein. And he Ralph Klein, huge drunk, yeah. Loved Alberta and loved the people of Alberta. And, and loved cared him. about them. Yeah. He wasn't your typical politician. Yeah. Like, yes, Rob had his issues, Klein had his issue, but they weren't, they weren't liars. They were people that cared about the people. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit how bad a rap they give them. They really did care about the people. Way more than a lot of them other ones. Oh, yeah, Rob Ford. Oh, he was hilarious. Some of his interviews, I some mean, of the sound bites. Too. Remember when he's oh. like... No, I did not eat her. Like, it was just, like, oh, I mean, unbelievable. The P word? <laughs> that he would just say that to the reporters. Oh, my God, it was crazy. <laughs> oh, it was like, was oh, man. my God, did he really just say that out loud? But then they tried to ban him in, like, the council meetings and stuff. Oh, it was just hilarious. And they would try to take his power away, and they were all, like, so bad that, like... Oh my gosh, it was just insanity on a new level. There was a story of Rob Ford coming out every day. Oh yeah. It was just amazing. Popular. Okay, are we gonna go look? Yeah. Can we have a story after? What? Yeah, yeah, we'll keep telling stories. I gotta yeah. do laundry, it's sitting there. Like, better tell than me. Yeah, your story was... <laughs> Mine sucked. Oh, it was pretty bad. bad it was pretty bad. We had what to fill in you? a lot of plot holes. <laughs> what? It was pretty awful. Killer. What's up, dude? No, you're not. Why yeah, are you what? so hard on yourself? You're oh, really not. Bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. No,